Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube. Eli Fishman Sports back another interview. Today, I was joined by pitcher in the New York Yankees organization, Brooks Christie. Brooks, thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on today. You played at USC for the Trojans, a school with a great athletic program, a great baseball program. Can you talk to me about playing with uh, with the Trojans at you know a great program like that? Uh, I mean, they have a rich history, so um, I mean that was one thing that drew me to that university. Um, your rounds of Tons of great athletes, uh, Olympians, uh, professional baseball players, basketball players, ton of NFL football players, um, and that's why it was really cool coming to the Yankees. It's another traditional, um, I guess, organization for a university to be a program. But um, yeah, it's cool. There's a lot of rich history, and yeah. Uh, you were drafted in the third, in the sixth round of the 2016 Major League Baseball draft. How did it feel to hear your name called in the draft? I mean, it was awesome. It was something uh, I've been working for. Um, I mean, after my junior year of college, you're eligible to get drafted, and I didn't get picked up. So uh, I really worked hard going into that next season, and getting picked up where I got picked up was, was a testament of how hard I worked. You made your professional debut in the New, New York Penn League with the Staten Island Yankees. You made 13 relief appearances. Can you talk to me about what you learned that season about professional baseball while playing in Staten Island? I mean, I think it was a lot of the preparation. It's it's longer days than it was in college. Um, I mean, the game doesn't change. It might speed up a little bit, but it was the same thing, and it's just it's all about consistency. Uh, I, especially your senior year, well, last season, uh, your senior year of U, at USC and in Staten Island, you did really, really well. Your stats improved a lot. What have been some of the biggest things that you've worked on that have led you to do so well last season? Uh, I mean, I think it's focusing on, on command and um, refining off-speed pitches and getting into the weight room. I was able to put on a lot of size, and um, you know, it helps with velocity, and, and it allows you to make more – there's more room for error if you're throwing harder and your stuff's better. So I think that was something that contributed to that. Uh, you're recovering from Tommy John surgery right now. Right now. How's your arm feeling, and how are you hoping to come back? Uh, I mean, I'm about 10 months out right now, so I'm uh, throwing bullpens. I'm off the mound. Everything's gone smoothly. Um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to come back to at least where I was, if not better. I was able to, to focus on core strength and my shoulder strength and get in the weight room and uh, work on my leg strength. So hopefully that turns to a little bit more added velocity and, and consistency. Uh, coming into next season when you could, you uh, will be you know thrown for the first time after Tommy John surgery, is your mental approach going to be, be be the same after having Tommy John surgery? Are you going to be more careful with your arm, or what's your mental what is your mental standpoint going to be? I mean, for one, I'll, I'll for sure stick to the core routine and the shoulder routine, um, but I think mentally I'll be the same. You know, I'll, I'll try to be a bulldog, and it might be in the back of my head at the beginning of it, but. Um, for the most part, I just got to trust that, you know, it's, it's healed. The surgeon did his job, and all the work that I put in, it's, I'm going to be healthy. All right, thank you so much for joining me today.